Hi guys, James at Rampant Line Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head over to St Andrews in Fife in Scotland and we're actually going to do a new brewery. I've never reviewed or even tasted anything from these guys but I have seen them before so it's quite good to finally get around to reviewing something from them. So we're going to go to St Andrews Brewing Company and today we're having a go of their Mocha Porter which I believe was one of their limited edition beers that they did. I have to give a shout out to Derek at Hippo Beer in Glasgow. If you find yourself through there, very nice little bottle shop along in the west end of Glasgow, do check it out. Facebook link to them is in the video description for you below. But anyway, as is usual with my reviews then, I'll just tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. The brewery website's in the video description for you below, along with a link that will take you to my future reviews that hopefully I can do from St Andrews Brewing. And there's also a link down there to my untapped profile, so feel free to add me as a friend and please like the Facebook page as well for the channel. And as I say, all those links are in the video description for you below. But anyway, St Andrews, as I told you, is in Fife, and it's actually on the very kind of eastern part of Fife. If you th imagine Scotland is looking a bit like a monster's head, St Andrews is almost right just in the middle of the between the chin and the lip, if you like. That's probably a good way to describe it. But this, uh, this small little town here is actually quite picturesque, very famous for golf, and also home to Scotland's oldest university, University of St Andrews, founded in 1394. But this brewery, St Andrews Brewing Company, was founded in January 2012 by Bob Faff, who's originally from Yorkshire and Bob had been home brewing since his teens and he started out his professional career on a very small four barrel brew kit in Glenrothes which is a little bit to the west of St Andrews in Fife but later he brought in an experienced brewer also from Yorkshire called Stuart Noble and he helped him develop the recipes for the beers and this is where St Andrews Brewing Company really began to grow. So they've now moved over to St Andrews and they've got a brew pub on South Street which has 16 tap beers, 30 whiskies, various wines and over 170 different bottled beers and all of their food that they serve in the brew pub too is sourced locally. They say it's all from within about 40 miles so if you do go and try out this little place you're getting some really nice local localities there. I'll need to go and do that the next time I head along to St Andrews. I like to go there and take the dog for a walk so I'll need to have a wee look at this place when I go with a friend or something I can enjoy a few beers. So as I say do go and check it out but all the bottle labels that you'll find from these guys you'll wonder why they have this kind of ceramic style to them but that's because they're designed by Susan McGill who's actually a local ceramic artist to the St Andrews area but just to list the other beers you can get from St Andrews Brewing they've got the Wee Blonde, Fife Gold, Crail Ale, the IPA, 80 Bob, the Nuke Ale which is a Scotch Ale and they also have an Oatmeal Stout as well and they do have various kind of um, limited edition ones that they do such as this guy the Mocha Porter but Derek from, uh, from Hippo Beers told me this is a really quite nice one so this was why I decided to go with it for my first review from St Andrews Brewing but anyway let's Let's get on to the tasting section of this beer. So I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little quick look at the artwork before we open it up. All of the St Andrews beers have this kind of uh, this label on them here. As I say, it's designed by Susan McGill, who is a local Fife ceramic artist. On the side here, it says St Andrew Brewing Company. The story. Uh, the history, the golf, the uni, the beer. So here at St Andrews Brewing Company we are proud to be an independently owned microbrewery. Our multi award winning bottle conditioned beers are all brewed, bottled and labelled uh, by hand in the heart of St Andrews. Each brew is lovingly produced in batches of only 750 bottles by me and a couple of mates, Mike and Simon. It's our daily mission to bring you balanced and full flavoured brews, creating new recipes each week with unique malt, hops and yeast combinations. Cheers, Bob. So this guy, um, to tell you about this one itself, plain bottle cap on this one by the way, it is a 6.6% .6 porter. Um, it has Maris Otter pale malt, crystal malt, chocolate malt and also roasted barley in the malt bill. The hops used in this one are Amarillo, Challenger and Pacific Jade. Amarillo is a really nice hop actually. And uh, Challenger and Pacific Jade I've not had for a little while so that should be quite interesting. But the twist to this beer is it's got coffee from Taste Coffee Shop and cocoa from Pit and Weem Cocoa Company. So as I said these guys are using very local ingredients there. Pit and Weem, I can't remember exactly where it is but I do know it is out on that eastern side of Fife so should be a very very nice beer this one and as I say Derek from Hippo Beers knows his stuff so I'm sure he wouldn't have given me a bad beer to try so very much looking forward to this one so let's get it out and get on with the tasting here so as you can see a nice smoky opening from this one I remember seeing when I lived up in Aberdeen I saw these beers briefly in odd bins uh, once or twice 
but they kind of did, I think was it odd bins it was the one that was in the Union Square shopping centre um, but they disappeared very quickly and this this is the, I only found the only time I've ever seen St Andrew's beers again was going through to Hippo beers in Glasgow so this was why I finally decided to, that I was just going to get around and actually review one of these but as you can see it's poured a really nice kind of dark kind of rose with the ebony colour if you hold it up to the light it just has a very slight ruby tinge to it. I'll just bring the light right over the camera and just let you see that there. You can see, see the exact colour of this beer. Almost black actually, but I think rosewood ebony colour is a good way to describe this. And there was about a half finger of a frothy kind of beigey tan head there. But that's just faded away to be a very thin foamy layer. And you can just see that if I tip the glass towards you slightly. But there are one or two big bubbles of carbonation sticking towards the side of the glass. But quite a few little ones going up towards the bottom or of that very thin foamy layer now. So let's give it a smell before we crack into it. So as you would expect with it being a mocha porter, obviously it's quite forward on the slightly roasted coffee aromas, but there are a little bit more things to it than that. There's a good bit of a kind of roasted character, and it's almost like a kind of brown breadiness you can smell that's just underpinning this beer. And there's a little bit of chocolate too, but it's a nice kind of dusty, um, dark roasted coffee that you're getting from this one. There is a little bit of earthy hop that you can pick out. You can just pick out that kind of um, wet, earthy hop character, I think, as well, in the deeper parts of the nose. As I always say with these beers, just take a little bit of time and smell them before you stick it, before you get uh, stuck into them. You can pick up a little bit of a red fruity ester coming out, a very light, sort of figgy note, but overall, the most prominent component of this beer is obviously the big roasted coffee. There is a little bit of chocolate in there and some grainy brown bready character so it smells very nice it has all the elements you would expect of a porter so without further ado let's get stuck into this one so this is the mocha porter from St Andrews Brewing Company in St Andrews in Fife Scotland Slange that's really interesting actually one that I always some people always have said to me in the reviews that it's quite hard to tell the difference in style between the porter and the stout if you like but this one you can you can feel with the nice light mouth feel definitely a porter beer so that's one thing I like about a porter is if it makes you certain that it is actually a porter and not kind of uh, going into stout territory then for me that's always good definitely hits the kind of lighter mouth feel that I would expect from a porter anyway it's interesting this one though because you've got the dark roasted coffee bitterness there, but that comes in quite suddenly and then it gives way to just a nice earthy hop character around the edges of your palate. At the very back corners of the tongue, you can pick up these nice, just, um, it's not quite sweet, but it's a nice smooth earthy hop character and that gives you a nice balance to the beer in fact. But you've got this um, big brown bready, sort of grainy, barley-ish, uh, note that just blankets the middle of your palate there and there is a kind of roasted coffee bitter dry character just on top of that it's really really nice but there's a nice kind of um, a quite slightly sweet dark chocolate building up in this one it's a nice beer this I have to say that I really like this porter I have to admit not a style that I drink too often but very very good example of it from St Andrews It's nice in the mouthfeel too, as I say, quite light but also quite oily and that helps bring out some of the chocolatey flavours in this beer. But as I say, you're just getting a blanket over the middle of your palate there with a nice kind of um, brown bread, sort of rye-ish bread flavour, a bit of barley character in there. That just blankets the middle of your tongue and on top of that you've got a dark roasted coffee bitterness in there. And if you go down the middle of the tongue, you can pick up just a little bit of a kind of, um, almost like a, a slight licorice flavour if that makes sense, but a dark caramel is mixing in with that too, a very dark, um, not quite molasses, but a very, very dark kind of roasted caramel element in there as well, and just uh, probably is a little bit of licorice actually. But there is a definite presence from the kind of sweet, you get a sweeter element of a nice dark high cocoa uh, con containing chocolates. Very nice this, it's actually quite a complex one but I do like how the, the flavour is complex but it has a nice light drinkable mouthfeel this one. It 
There is almost a slightly smoky element to this as well. You can pick up just a little bit of a slightly ashy um, smoke around the edges of the palette there. As I say, you've got that nice earthy hop character in the back corners of your tongue, and it becomes a little bit... That earthy character spreads all the way around the tongue, and it becomes a little slightly, a little bit more slightly smoky at the front curve of your tongue there, I think. So just pay attention to that if you're trying this beer for yourself. There is a definite presence of a slight red fruity ester in this one. You'll feel a little oily bubble just behind the very front of your tongue, and there I think you're getting a little bit of a figgy flavour, a very smooth figgy flavour, but there is a bit of the sharper ester flavours that you expect of like raisins or maybe plums or something like that. There is a, a, a nice, um, quite light and a quite juicy fig character to it, but there is an element of the, some of these sharper red fruits in there too. But yeah. Overall, it's really quite nice. The little quirk to this one, in my opinion, is that little presence. Is it's how prominent the uh, the coffee is in this beer. It's different to any other kind of coffee porter that I've tried for you before in the channel. So do give it a go if you get the chance, because it is very local. This one is is the idea is that it's a local Fife or a local St Andrews beer, so it works really quite well. And the uh, the nice earthy character in the the hot base of this beer gives you a good bridge between the roasted coffee bitterness and the uh, the sort of bready characteristics of the beer. The earthy hop and the coffee flavours go quite well together, I have to admit. But in terms of the mouthfeel, of this one I would say definitely mid-bodied. It's almost it could also be described as being light to mid-bodied. It's probably fair to describe it as that. The carbonation in this one is very smooth. It's quite oily, but it's got quite a wet mouthfeel to it as well. There is, despite that though, some of these beers you can always get beers that are just a little bit too light but this one reminds me of some of the French beers I've reviewed in fact it's very light in its mouthfeel but at the same time it's packed full of flavour you've got a nice roasted coffee bitterness in there it's a little bit dry in the middle of the palate but you've got a bit of sweet character from ch the chocolate a little bit of breadiness and you do have a nice kind of lingering dry earthy hop around the edge of the tongue and perhaps just a little bit of a smoky dryness as well that comes out particularly in the aftertaste and the lingering flavours in this beer are the roasted bitter coffee in the middle of the palate there is a little bit of uh, kind of chocolatey sweetness in there, but you've got an earthy hop lingering around the edge of your tongue, and just that little bit of smoky character as well. So a very very interesting beer, and it's been a really good one to to review for my first go at St Andrews Brewing. So hopefully there's many more to come. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this first beer review from St Andrews over in Fife. Um, I've also reviewed one of the Eden beers for you before, and I'll need to go back and review some of their beers as well because two very good breweries in this really old little beautiful town so definitely a place you want to go if you want to visit Scotland do go and check it out but I hope you've enjoyed this beer review my very first from the St Andrews Brewing Company really cool to do this first review from them so I hope you've enjoyed it let me know in the comments section below your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it before I always enjoy reading them in the meantime until my next review please like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff add me as a friend on Untapped and like the Facebook page as well and subscribe to the channel I hope you've enjoyed this beer review I'm sure I'll return to St Andrew's Brewing in the near future, but until then, slange you for now.